Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Well, today I thought I'd uh, do a small video and show you how to program the Atomic. Uh, in this case, it's our 80 amp uh, ESC um, with the 3300 kilovolt uh, brushless motor. Now, you can use a programmer card, um, but there's also this to uh, tone sheet here that you can go by. I downloaded this from the internet, like free. Because when I got my low C, um, it came with this setup in it, but um, it had some programming issues, obviously, like you know, really lousy reverse and you know that sort of stuff. So you know, we gotta fix those things. And um, the programmer switch that was on here on the ESC was actually shot, so I managed to replace it and put one up on a wire uh, that had a, a waterproof uh, micro switch. And then, of course, I JB welded in here, too, on my contacts so nothing could pull at it or, you know, dirt and stuff can't get in there at all. So it keeps it all uh, nice and waterproof at the same time. But it is a waterproof uh, ESC and motor regardless. But um, anyways, so I want to show you about how to program this thing. And uh, I'm just going to take you through the basics here. Um, when you enter the program mode, okay, um, Make sure that your ESC is turned off first, okay? Or in my case, unplugged, I don't have a power switch because um, that apparently died on the last person. So um, I just, it, it's hot wired in, so I just have to plug the battery in, and which is kind of bonus having this wire here. Uh, but anyways, turn off the ESC, switch on the transmitter. Keep the throttle stick to the neutral position. So basically no fingers on your radio. Uh, press and hold the set key, okay? Switch on the ESC. Wait for three seconds, special tone like da -da -da -da, should, which means program mode is entered. Now, it will go immediately into the first beep, so you got to pay attention. Now, if you're going to set these in order, then that's fine. Okay, it doesn't really matter, um, but you're going to have to release the button. So as soon as you hear that first initial beep, release the button, and then it'll come down to this part of the list in item three, brake force. And it's going to have one beep tone and a green LED flash. I don't even pay attention to the green LED. I just listen for the beeps. Um, brake force is 50%, 75 or 100. Now, 100% brakes, you really don't want uh, on this machine anyways. Some machines, you might want that you know, immediate oh, dead halt. I've got mine at 75% and it works really well. Um, but it's two beeps. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to set this thing up for you and show you um, just how to set um, a couple of these up and you'll get the idea. Because in this way it's not an overly long video and you can do the math and figure it out. And it's, it's all um, here like one long beep, two short, one short, uh, one short tone, uh, two short tones, three short tones, four short tones, one long tone, one long, one short, uh, one long, two short. I, I thought that was 11 long at one time, and I guess that may be uh, just that it's so close together, eh? So it was like, man, that messed me up. Um, and that was for setting uh, my timing on the, on the engine. So, um, and you've got four levels of timing on this engine that you can set. Now, I haven't seen really much of a difference between any of them. Um, so I've got mine actually set up at the high level instead of the highest. Um, but I tried it both ways driving the car, and I don't see a real difference there. Um, but anyway, so let's get started with this. Now, in my case, like I said, I don't have the switch, so I got to do this. I got to hold my one battery connector, make sure I'm at the right polarity. And then I keep holding it. Okay, that's the first beat. One beat. Two beats, three beats, and if you miss, you, it'll restart over. One beat, press the button, let go, you'll hear that sound, and this, and you're done. Now, unplug, plug back in. Once you release that programming button, okay, once you hit it quick, on the value that you want set. Once you release it, it'll do that little, have the delay and then the chime, and then it stops. That's saved the information. Okay, so now we're gonna check. So, that's all fine. 
Now drag brake force, you can go up to 20%. So we'll set the drag brake next. Holding the button in, turn your power on. First beep, two beeps, let go. That's it. So I've set my drag brake to 20%. So I unplug it, plug it back in. Okay, that's all set. Then you've got run modes one, two, and two, two, which I really, they don't explain what it really is, but I've set mine at two for now and I'm playing with that. Uh, my big thing is I want forward and of course I want reverse. And I've got, uh, my reverse is 75%. Even though it's, uh, even though it's a lot more, it really isn't. It's only 75%. 25% sucks, 50% ain't bad, but 75% is a lot better. Depending on your um, conditions of your road that you're messing on or terrain, whatever, um, you'll decide where you want your, your brake force to be set up and drag brake and all that sort of stuff. Um, I've got mine uh, set for Lippo uh, Auto Detect. Actually, I haven't even set that up yet. So, that's item five on the list. So, we're going to have to listen for one long tone. And uh, four short tones will come before that, and then one long tone. Now that's for auto detect. So and I can set it for two cells, three cells, four cells, or five cells, or n cells. So basically I can run up to a four cell um, battery in this thing. No, three cell. Three cell is my max. And then I go to four cell, nickel methyl hydrate, five cell, and n cells, whatever the heck n cells is. I'd say six cells, lipo, or NICAD, nickel methyl hydrate. Um, but my voltage cutoff is already preset to 3.1 volts, uh, so we're not going to mess with any of that stuff. Neutral range, initial brake force, um, that's number nine. So initial brake force, 30%, uh, number item nine. One long and four short tones is what we want to listen to for that. Button, let go. Okay, so most of our settings are all done. 
Uh, my, the rest of my settings are already done, but if you do really screw up bad um, and you think you might have made a big boo-boo, you can restore everything to all defaults. Item number 11 um, on the page is three long tones and a red flash. Okay? So you're gonna have to listen for the three long tones. Now what I do is I, when I start doing my program is I put my pen here and I count down the list to where I wanna go, right? Don't pay attention to all this stuff here, in this column here, it does say, you know, beep, 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 right? Just pay attention here and to where you want your item here. Okay, so restoring to all defaults, defaults three long tones, red tone, a red LED, which you'll see the red LED, but like I said, I don't pay attention because I already know what it does from paying attention before. Um, and then, of course, um, they don't have a set value for this um, here. Let's see if they have a set value. Because I think you can just let go of it. No. So they don't have the uh, the other section here for um, item 11 for being able to, you know, um, set that value. So I think it'll probably just do it all on its own once you let go. Um, oh, wait a minute. Note, one long beep and five short beeps. Flash, one long time, five short time. So... One long beat, five short beats. Yeah, so probably has something to do with that. Um, I've never had to do this, but, you know, I wouldn't worry about restoring to default anyhow. Um, but if you do make a mistake, it's not a big deal. You can just start over right from the beginning of your programming. Start out with item one, set your break force. Item one here to item one here, okay? And two to two, three to three, and so on. And you can just start over, because you're not going to really mess it up that bad anyhow. Um, but if you do think that you may have, or you, you said, Oh man, I wanted 75% uh, breaks, not uh, 50 or 25 or whatever. Then, yeah, you can always go back and redo that anytime, just reprogram that feature. That's why you got to listen to the tones and stuff. But it's pretty simple and easy to do this. You know, it, it's... Not that difficult to learn how to program this um, ESC and motor setup. Um, it's pretty, pretty simple. Um, you can go up to three cells. I would leave the uh, LiPo thing on auto detect just because if you're going between two cell and three cell, um, you don't want to have to just go and reprogram for three. So if you have it for auto detect, it'll auto detect any of the LiPo cells up to three cells. And then if you're starting to use NIM packs, 4 cell, 5 cell, or I guess N cell should have been 6 cell. But um, if you're going to run NIM packs, it's going to auto detect those as well. So and you have no low voltage cutoffs accessible for programming for nickel methyl hydride or NICADs because you don't need to. Okay, the lower you drain them, the better. Um, but with your LiPos, you need to set your cutoff threshold between 2.5, 2.8, and 3.1. And you have to know if your batteries can handle going to 2.5. Usually not. Um, usually it's not a good idea to go be below 3 volts. But they've got a cutoff at 3.1. And that's where I've set mine. So at 3.1 volts, my car just shuts right down on me no matter what it's doing. You know, and I've got a 7600 milliamp battery in here. So i got a ton load of play time out of this thing. Um, so anyway, that's how you program and set up the uh, Atomic uh, 80 amp. Now other Atomic ESCs will have uh, the same type of uh, features um, where you can either program by a card or program by key. Now there are two Atomic ESCs that will not program by a key. You must have the card. Okay, and these two also do not have a BEC. So they, they tell you here. So you got a 6 amp, 10 amp, 30, 45, 60, Mine's the 8 amp, so for, um, actually, oh yeah, it does say I can go to 4 cell for uh, LiPo. Okay, so I can run, this is the quick ADA, I can go 2 to 4 cell for LiPo, 4 to 15 cells for nickel methyl hydrate, um, 
and it tells me 3 amp 5 volt BEC um, program by card or program by the key so the key is your little button on your ESC uh, but this tells you on each uh, machine what you can run for uh, cells so you know anyways that's it um, if you got any questions otherwise feel free to ask I'll do the best I can to answer them um, but uh, thanks for watching we'll catch you on the next video